Hey there, I'm Jason Zwalik of the Zwalik Group with First Team and Christie's International Real Estate. If you're new to the channel, each week I discuss different real estate topics, all in the hopes of helping you navigate the world of home buying, selling, and investing. Buying an investment property is a great way to bring in extra income by renting or reselling. Plus, you can build your net worth through appreciation. However, you must understand the process before jumping in. Here are three things to consider before buying an investment property. Number one, what is your goal for the property? Are you looking to rent it out or flip it? If you're going to rent it out, you need to look at the area where you are buying and ask if it will cash flow. Typically, the areas that cash flow well don't appreciate as fast. For example, buying here in Southern California comes with higher costs and higher prices, so the property may not cash flow. However, what you don't make in cash flow, you can make up for in appreciation. Therefore, you could make a great return when you sell or exchange the property. Plus, as the home appreciates, you could refinance, pull money out, and buy another property. Determining your goal for the property will help narrow your search and allow you to find the property that fits your needs. Number two, understand the financing. If you're planning on financing the property, you need to understand that there are different qualifications compared to buying your primary home. When buying a single family primary home, some loans allow a down payment as low as 3%. However, when buying an investment property, the required down payment is typically around 15 to 20%. And for multifamily properties, it can climb as high as 25%. On top of this, the interest rate could also be higher for your investment property. And some lenders require extensive cash reserves. Remember, cash reserves is cash on hand to cover costs of the property. Some lenders also require a credit score of at least 620 to qualify. If you're looking to finance your investment property, make sure you speak with multiple lenders to find the best rate and fees. And finally, number three, know the costs involved. There are many costs involved in owning a rental property and you need to make sure you are prepared to allocate funds accordingly. Not only do you have the typical costs or PIDIA, which stands for Principal Interest Taxes Insurance and Association, you also have to think about property management, which could be as high as 10% of the monthly rent. Maintenance must also be considered because it can be a significant cost. And remember, some maintenance can be put off on your own home, but you have a responsibility to your tenant to keep everything operational in your rental property. We personally follow the 40% rule, so we put 40% of the net monthly rent into a separate account to pay for all bills and unexpected maintenance. If you are flipping a home, having a plan and budget in place and knowing the local market will help you turn a profit on your property when you sell. Whether you will be holding or flipping, knowing all of the costs up front will help you have peace of mind when buying your investment property. Buying an investment property can provide another income stream and can be a great way to build generational wealth. However, you must know what you're getting into and have a plan in place. I hate being surprised. So following these tips will help you go into your investment with your eyes wide open. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you're notified every time I post. If you have any questions, please send them to me directly or write them down in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer them as I'm here to help in any way that I can. I hope you all have a great week and until next time, take care everybody.